Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm gonna explain filtering using pandas. If I could summarize what filtering is, it's basically keeping the rows that match a condition when working with the data frame. In the previous lessons, we've been working with the data frame that contains the original 150 Pokemon. Make sure that you have some data to work with before starting this lesson. Let's say I would like to create a new data frame and filter any Pokemon that have a height above two meters. We would have to access this height column and return any rows where the height is two meters or above. Here's how we can do that. Let's create a new data frame. We'll call it tall Pokemon equals, we will access our data frame, use the subscript operator. Let me zoom in a little bit. We're going to return a series, access our data frame, use the subscript operator. We will select the column of height. Then we will write a condition. Return any rows where the height is greater than or equal to 2. And then we will output our new data frame, tall Pokemon. And here's what we have. We have filtered out any Pokemon that have less than 2 meters for height. You can see that with the height column, all the heights are 2 meters or above. So really with filtering, we're just keeping the rows that match condition. Let's apply another filter. Let's say heavy Pokemon. Heavy Pokemon equals access our data frame, use the subscript operator. We will select the column of weight. Access our data frame, subscript operator. We will select the column of weight. Return any Pokemon that have a weight that's greater than, let's say greater than 100. And then we will print our heavy Pokemon, that new data frame. And here we go. We've returned all the rows where the weight is over 100. Now let's return any Pokemon that are legendary. If a Pokemon's not legendary, this value is zero. If it is legendary, it's one. We'll create a new data frame of legendary Pokemon equals access our data frame, use the subscript operator. We will select the column of legendary. Now I set this equal to be one if it is legendary. We have four legendary Pokemon, Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, Mewtwo. Now what you could do for readability the boolean value of true also equals 1. That would work too. If your CSV data contains booleans, mine doesn't, you don't necessarily need double equals true, that's redundant. Since my original CSV data contains zeros and ones, I would need that double equals. Let's find any water Pokemon. Water Pokemon equals Access our data frame, subscript operator. We will select the column of type 1. If type 1 is equal a string of water, then we will return any water Pokemon. Now, this is only for type 1. We have Squirtle all the way down to Vaporeon. But what if their second type is water and not their first type? Well, we could use the or logical operator. If you're going to use a logical operator, be sure to enclose your first condition within a set of parentheses. With the or logical operator, this is a C style operator. With Python, it would be or. But we're going to be using the C style operator, which is a vertical bar for or. We'll write another condition, access our data frame, select the column of type two where the second type is equal to water. If the first type is water or the second type is water, return that row. See, we have more rows. There's a few Pokemon that have a first type that's not water, but their second type is water. Now we'll use the and logical operator. Let's find any Pokemon that are fire and flying. We'll name this new data frame just FF for short, Fire Flying. 
fire flying Pokemon equals access our data frame. We'll do a search for any fire Pokemon. Select the column of type one. Check to see if that's equal to a string of fire. Let's see what we have currently. Here's all the fire Pokemon, starting with Charmander all the way to Moltres. Now we'll see if their second type is flying. We'll be using a C style and logical operator, which is an ampersand. Be sure you're not using the Python and. If we're using a logical operator, enclose your conditions within a set of parentheses. Now for my second condition, access our data frame subscript operator, select the column of type two. Let's check to see if type two is equal to flying. Now we're returning any fire and flying Pokemon. And there's two, Charizard and Moltres. Their type one is fire, their type two is flying. All right, everybody, that is filtering. Basically, you're keeping the rows that match a condition. For your homework to help increase engagement with this video, in the comments section, post a data frame where you search for two different types. Try and pick some different types that we haven't used yet. And while well, everybody that is filtering using pandas.